Hello everybody, Robert here with uh, more Rivet Training. Uh, in this training exercise, we're going to look at custom rendered settings. So I have this file from the Lisa Moss uh, 2018 Architecture Certification Exam Guide. And this file is in that with the downloads that you can get with it. Now, uh, first I want to open Inside Cubicle. And now in this cubicle, um, it's already preset. So let's go until I hit our render command. And then once our render command is selected, we want to go and select settings on the quality where you have our different qualities. But here we want to click edit. So we select edit and we want to make sure our, our advanced precision materials and shadows are set. Okay, and then we want to enable advanced. We have advanced enable. Yep. And then uh, right here it says time to render. So we will select render by time. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to just say three minutes. Okay. Now you can go higher like 30 minutes to an hour, but for this video, say we don't have that much time. And then we select OK. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go up into our rendering dialog box and we want to select region. So once region is selected, you'll notice these uh, this box here that will render just the region of your of our model. And then here in lighting, the lighting scheme we want to have uh, sun and artificial, which we have defaulted. We have different settings here, but for this we want to use sun and artificial lighting. And now, once we have the region selected, you notice this box here. You, if you tick it, okay. You can grab these grips and make it a little bit smaller. So let's just make it slightly smaller like so. Okay. And then once we've done that, we can just go in and select render. So now, wow. My computer is so slow. Sorry, folks. I apologize. <laughs> Renting will take some time, but it'll probably be more time because of the computer I'm using. No, oh, you're just slow here. Jeez. Anyway, while that's doing its thing, <laughs> you kidding me? Okay, finally. Well, at least we didn't lose any time. We picked up a minute. So here, what you'll see is one minute of that three-minute time interval. And then these are warnings right here where it'll tell you what appearances are missing so it's moving along pretty good so we didn't lose too much time and so we've got uh about a minute and a half to go here and there are uh three types of running you can do you can do just a straight running with the different quality settings or you can uh, go out and render in the cloud I like the render in the cloud because it's good quality, it's pretty fast, and sometimes Autodesk will make you get credits if you got too many out there. So that's a good way to uh, do rendering, rendering the cloud. But this is just a simple exercise. I want to show you all how to do a render using custom settings. Now, 
that's almost there. We've got about one, oh, about 50 seconds to go. I haven't tried this doing an hour, half hour rendering, but it'll work. And you'll probably get better quality as opposed to using the, uh, the other one the settings. But this is custom. This is how you can do it on your own with all your custom settings and everything. So we've got about 15 seconds to go here as the clock ticks. And that should just about do it. So there, there's our rendering. Now, once your rendering is complete, you can go ahead and you can uh, adjust the exposure. Now this exposure is pretty pretty good, but if you go if you look here, it'll apply. It'll be very bright. So we want to make this darker. Hit apply. It's a little too dark. Let's go to 14 and a half. Apply. And there you go. So that's basically how you do a um, rendering by custom render settings. All right. Thanks for watching this short video. And hope you can subscribe and uh, ask uh, special request. This was a special request from someone. Uh, if you want any requests of anything you like to learn to do in Rivet, just uh, drop me a line. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.